Hey guys, it's Skyhooded Out, and welcome back to Wind Waker. In the last episode, we had just left here at Bomb Island, getting ourselves a flower. And in this episode, we're going to be partaking in a side quest that involves running around crazily. And you, may, you may be asking yourself, why are you heading to this square? Well, in fact, I'm actually heading to this square, so I'll meet you guys when we get there. Alright, now that we've finally made it here... What you're actually going to do, going to want to do, is sail right into a cyclone, and this guy pops out. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. The end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. Okay, now what you actually want to do, and I know I've been saying actually a lot in this let's play. I just noticed that after editing a few of my videos. You just want to shoot him with your arrows. Not too difficult. If you actually aim for him, actually again, you hit him. You don't actually. Once again, saying actually. You just want to aim for him, okay? Because you'll hit him. So he comes down here and boop. That's a heck of an arm you got there. And what an eye. No one's ever been able to spot me in there before. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker, let's see if you can handle this. Down. Left. Nope, that was right. I'm stupid. Hey, it looked like a thunderbolt. So, down, right, left, up. And with that, we gain ourselves the Ballad of the Gales. The Gallad of the Bales. Wahoo! In the hands of a wind waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call all my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head for home now. See you on down the road. Yeah. So yeah. Now we can actually teleport like Mario. I know people have made that joke already. But yeah, we can teleport through the... Okay. Ocean. And uh, we're actually going to want to go to that island, which is... Wait, Grayfit? Huh? What the... Which... 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 Anyway, we're going to want to head to Great Fish Isle. See you guys there. But on the way there, I actually noticed this submarine. So, in this square. So, we're actually going to want to stop here and see what's going on in this submarine town. Let's take this guy's joy pendant. We don't need to kill him. Just leave him mortally wounded. That's such a weird word. Mortally wounded. It's like, who came up with that, fruitcake? Yeah. And no to this guy. What's kind of cool is you do want to collect their uh, skull necklaces because they'll be important for something later. So just trust me on that. Let's see, how many do we actually have? And I go, there I go saying actually again. Falcon. Huh! Holy cow. Timing or what? Get out of here. And you guys too. Dude. Can't just go punch. You can't just go whacking someone the tootsies like that. Holy cow! That's it. Time for some arrows. Uh, lock on. Puh! Now let's kill these guys. You thought it was the last of them, huh? Nope. There's more. Let's see. Ooh, rupees! You do want rupees. They're very important. And no, the ten! You made me lose a ten. How dare thee! Hello? Whoa! Jeez, what's with them and Falcon punching? I might want to just cut to the end of this because it's kind of tedious and I don't want to waste my time here. Look at that. Another one. Okay, I'll see you guys when I beat these fools. Alright, it's about time. Cheese Louise, man. Alright, just pick up some spoilers. Oh, get the heart. Thank you. Whew. I don't actually remember what's in this chest. Ooh, it's spiky. It's got to be good. I just don't remember what. I don't remember how good. What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? Oh, piece of horror. How nice. Four of these. Blade new heart container. Wait, what? How many do I have? Oh, that makes one. Oh, of course. And how many do we have total? Eight? Yeah, eight. That's pretty nice. Not two. Yep, eight. Okay, I just had to double check. Uh, whoa, these guys. I thought there'd be money. 
So anyway, I'll meet you guys in on Greatfish Isle. Like I said I would a million years ago. Now that I think about it, actually, I could just warp there. I'm being stupid. What a fool with those buns. Jeez. Just warp. This is the warping thing. Obviously, because it's warping. You just take a cyclone to the destination you want to go to. And there's some... Well, one. There's one I island that you actually cannot warp warped to the outside of because it's a special island. And we'll be going there next. So, yeah, where... There it is. It's weird. I put uh, the sail on X, and I'm not used to it, so it feels weird. There's Beetle Ship Shop. We don't need him for anything yet. The reason you want to collect a lot of money right now is because the Goron merchants, obviously, they'll ask for money in exchange for trading with them because their items are way better. And they'll. There should be. I believe there was one that gives you money, but I could be wrong. So let's just go ahead and give this guy his flower. Oh, we have to talk to him first. Duh. Alright. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, yeah, so I'm just Cherry Fellow who bobs between waves, and we've already really read this, so he's just saying he's gonna wanna trade with that shop guru guy, and I just talked to him again on accident. And he told us where the rest of uh, his friends are, the other ones on Mother and Child Isle, which is a place we'll, where we'll be going. In that case, would you be interested in trading it? That? It's a the, uh, the exotic flower. Sure. Most worthy, then. My fee will be, uh,. I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will do just fine. Thanks. That settles it. Things give you an item promise. Hold your both hands. It's on a flower. It's a fresh flower. Flower, flower. Yeah, basically it's just another item. And I say basically a lot too. So by trading, we have boots. Merchant's Oath. So yeah. See you guys. In. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not leaving yet. I have to tell you where I'm going. I'm going to be going to this island right here. I'll meet you with, for the map fish location of this, and then I'll meet you here. Actually, by the looks of it, it looks like we're going to make a stop here. We're not going to stop at those just yet, because those will be a little too time-consuming for my taste. But these two ships right here are very important. They're stationary ships, and you don't see them too often. Well, actually, no, they're not stationary. But they're always here, is what I mean. You just want to shoot this one on the right three times. And then, wouldn't you know it, you get shot in the back. No. I believe there should be... Is it the... No, no, no. It's this one. That you shoot three times and... Wouldn't you know it. Uh, hello? Die? Are you sure? Oh, no, no, no. It was that one. We'll get both of them, but it was this one. I think. You want to sail over to this. Get your grappling hook out. And sail over here. It's nice that that... Oh, wow. I think we can get it. It's nice that that little orb thing marks it for us. But what could we? What could it be? And the reason I keep gaining money when I cut is because I pick up these random treasure charts in the Ring of Light. Which is important to do because you do need a lot of money. And piece of heart. Imagine that. Some random ship and you get a piece of heart from it. And what's even better than that is that it's Buddy over here. You get 100 rupees. It's like, dang. Now we need to go a little farther. Okie doke. It's about time. Yeah, I, I'm going to cut that little segment out of it. Just, you know, trying to scroll down and stuff. I'm trying to conserve as much time. I want to get this uh, town flower side quest out of the way as soon as possible. But then again, I also want to uh, get these islands out of the way because it's going to be more of a hassle to come back and get them than it will be just to get them in the first place. I mean to, well, yes, I think. Is that the, that's the Forsaken Fortress way over there, dang. I haven't, had to, I haven't done any good talking this episode, so I believe we're only around seven minutes. I don't want to make this a 20 minute episode, but I want to get stuff done. So, yep, this is Rockspire Isle. Look at that. I know it off the top of my noggin. And the, uh, what's his name? Blah, blah, blah. He's just going to tell us. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, um, 
beetle, the beetle ship that's here in this square. You know what, I'm going to have to change the wind direction. There we go. That might not have been the cleanest cut in the world, but it saves time. And time is money. Anyway, this beetle ship, he's uh, special. At least more special than the other ones. He actually sells a piece of heart, a bottle, and a treasure chart, which I believe leads to a piece of heart. So he's really important, and once you enter his ship and talk to him, you that deal expires in seven days, and you can never get those items again after those seven days if you don't buy them. So I'm going to cut to me blowing up all these bombs. Wow, bank shot. Wow, another bank shot. Anyway, the uh, the reason we can't get them now is because they're at, at least... Well, one of them's 200, but the others are 900 rupees a piece. I believe the other... Well, one's 900, one's 950. But, yeah. This place is pretty simple. You just come over here. Come over here. Just get this. And I believe... Is this another opportunity to stand on something? Because I really like doing that. No, it's just... Well, you can, actually. Let's see if we can... Whoa, look at these guys. Holy cow, Lag City. Lag City. Uh, kill them all. The spin attack is the most effective. And when you get down to single digits, the uh, bow is pretty helpful. So, Actually, I'm going to use the boomerang because that doesn't consume ammo. Is that all? Nope, there's you. Ramira. No, there's two. Come on. Wussy, wussy, wussy. Oh, three. Wow. Is there another one? Get out of here, fool. Don't tell me there's more. What the? Holy cow. They playing a party. Die. I kill you. Okay, I think you're the last one. You better be. Come here. Puh. Up here. Oh, I'm in a chest. And now I'm on top of the chest. Look at me. Backflip. Nice. Now let's just open it. This is a treasure chart. I don't know what the number is, but... Yeah, we've gotten quite a fru... A fru... A fru treasure charts. Yeah. Gotten quite a few. I believe two of them hold heart pieces, but I'm going to save it until a later date until we actually get them. So I'll meet you... In the next square now, it's about time. On board, I'm the captain. Sup, Mr. Mapfish. Anyway, this is Mother and Child Isle. We're just going to get the Mapfish location so it's easier next time we come here. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's Mother and Child Isle because there is a smaller island and a bigger island. Very creative. Yeah. And the reason we can't warp here is because there is an inside to this island, but that won't do us any good. And you can only get to it by teleporting. Uh, where the heck did the island go? Ah, I see. Now, um, it probably you're probably thinking, you're crazy. Why are you doing all these side quests before you go to the Forsaken Fortress? Which is not a spoiler because you do, you are supposed to know. If I haven't informed you, that's my fault. Um, if you didn't... Oh, a blue chew jelly. Nice. But anyway, um, I just like getting a lot of stuff done now, because next is a big old plot area, and that's going to take at least five videos. Anyway, let's get this ready and equipped. Equipped it, as a lot of people say. They, he just says the same thing. Well, generally, generally the same thing. Oh, what's that? Exotic flower. In that case, pinwheel. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. 55 rupees, yes. The prices do go up. I believe the highest is 200 or 250. Anyway, um, the next part should be easier because it's just going to be... Um, so by that, doing... Yeah, Merchant's Oath. So the next part should be easier because we can warp to both Bomb Island and this place. And then we can just warp here and sail up here. So yeah, I'll be cutting. First, I want to see how many chew jellies. I have two. It's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys. I, I guess it'll be a montage, so I'll be post-commentating. But I guess I'll see you guys then. Oops, just kidding. You can actually teleport to the Forest Haven. So while we're there, I figure we might as well get the map fish. 
but I'll just cut straight to that so we don't waste any time. Had to sail all the way against the wind. You better be worth it, Mr. Mapfish. Yeah, he's worth it. So, holy small fry, blah, blah, blah. You can actually go the whole game without getting any map fish locations, which isn't a big surprise, but it's just kind of cool. So, yeah, now that we got that, we will be coming back to get that treasure chart that I said I missed. It'll actually be easier if we get it later because we'll have more stuff at, oh, uh, what's with the burps? And more stuff equals better. So, I'll meet you guys at Bomb Island. Okay, so finally, just come over here, get the shop guy to give you what you want, and that's all. So, see you guys next time.